Europeans can count on Russia to supply all the gas they need to stay warm this winter, according to Vladimir Putin. But the Russian president warned that any action by Ukraine to disrupt the transit of fuel will be felt across the EU. Irina Galushka is in Belgrade, where Putin met with Serbian leaders. We've seen portraits of Russian president all over the place. And of course, uh, his participation in the parade, which commemorates 70th anniversary of liberation of Serbia by the Soviet troops from the German Nazi occupation, is a huge deal in the country. Of course, there's been a lot of cooperation between Belgrade and Moscow in terms of economy, particularly this time around, Russian president came and was talking energy. The issue of Russian gas supplies to Europe is becoming more and more pertinent, considering the uneven easy situation in eastern uh, Ukraine and, of course, in Ukraine overall. Now, Russian president, for his part, has assured uh, everyone in Belgrade and, of course, the Western leaders, if they choose to listen, uh, that Russia, for its part, is doing everything it can in order to provide stable supply of gas uh, to Europe, to all of its uh, customers and partners in Europe, as has been agreed. But he mentioned that there could be some difficulties. <laughs> I can definitely say that Russia will not be to blame for any possible energy crisis in Europe. Russia has always been a reliable supplier. We have enough resources to meet our own demands and the increasing demands of our Western and Asian consumers. However, the transit risks are high. If our Ukrainian partners decide to start siphoning off our gas from the export pipelines, just like they did in 2008, then we will once again reduce the supply flow. I very much hope the situation will not go that far. In January 2009, Russia cut off supplies to Ukraine itself after the two countries failed to agree a gas price. Moscow continued pumping export fuel to Europe through Ukraine, but Kiev allegedly began siphoning off some of that gas, forcing Russia to cut the flow completely. The shutdown lasted two weeks until Moscow and Kiev finally reached an agreement.